So um, seeing Pitch Perfect 3 is a little bit like when you go to a karaoke bar with some mates for a night. Like, the quality is pretty crap overall, but um, you have a lot of fun. So it doesn't really matter. Um, this film, uh, one thing I could say for it is the cast is good. And obviously the musical compilations and everything are, are excellent. Like They're really well put together. But it's kind of got thin characters, no plot development or character development for that matter. Um, it has unsatisfactory conclusions to all of the issues that it poses and leaves quite a lot of loose ends untied. But despite all of that, I didn't massively care. Like, I quite just enjoyed it for what it was. Um, there's a few times when I was a bit like, oh, what, why did that happen? Or like, God, they suddenly decided this thing quickly. But in all honesty, by the end of the film, I was just kind of, I don't know, felt kind of reasonably pleased and sentimental about the whole thing. And, being perfectly honest, I haven't been a huge fan of Pitch Perfect and I was a bit sad that that probably is the last one, so... I don't really know really what to say. Um, if you're looking for high art, obviously don't go and see this film because it's not. Um, if you're a musician, it's quite a fun film to see. If you're into music generally, it's quite fun. You might even want to sing along. Um, if you're into Pitch Perfect, it's quite a satisfying film, I think. So, um, given that it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it was kind of fun, but it's not a brilliant film. Probably the most I'd want to pay for it is £6.50 had I wanted to spend a tenner. But.